What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video of Game of Thrones. Now this is the third or fourth episode, one of it. But essentially what were, happened in the last episode is we were banished because we couldn't stay in the place anymore. Apparently we killed some sort of white hill and we might have attracted the enemy. So we had to leave. Anyways, let's continue on and see what happens. Ethan? Find him. Could you? He hides too well. And if he were smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. Ryan. Look who we found. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And... And Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want Gareth to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Gareth. He was nice. I don't know what he did to get sent away like that. He let me ride one of his pigs once. It was fun. You needn't worry about Garrod. He'll be okay. It's the people he'll be with that worry me. No one will tell me what Garrod did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Roiland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Roiland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And... He calls you a milksop. Sir Roiland forgets himself. He doesn't know me or, or what I'm capable of. What does milksop mean? I don't know, but I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Roiland teach you how to wield a sword. Like, like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asha. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah! Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training, and he never smiled anymore. And Asha, Asha just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. I know a lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. It's for you to decide for yourself. I don't want to get angry, but I may have to. Father did sometimes. But you're nice. Everybody says that about you. But since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. But Ethan will be a good lord. A proper lord. The lord of a noble house can do a great many things. Lord Ethan. You're needed in the Great Hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. What's the matter? 
Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. Lord Whitehill is a mean old man anyways. Someone should tell him to leave us alone. It's okay. You should go. It's what must be done. You can't really trust a guy that wants to meet a boy. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? A business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong. So don't give him any satisfaction. Silence won't work this time. You are the lord of this house. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men roll. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house. Thank you, Lord Whitehill. <laughs> my only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters finally get their due. I may be young. But I'm not so easily fooled. They're trying to rile me, but it won't work. Young? You are that boy. Too young to know when you're in over your head. And no bread and salt! What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. My apologies. Please forgive us. Forgive you? Not likely. You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye, and we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries, you cunt. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business. Keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said when your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attacked for no reason. No reason? You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? Ah, oh, we screwed he up. in your name. Didn't we? And you are the lord of this house. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. Soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? I took care of it. He received his punishment and it's done. He's gone. What? Gone? 
That was my justice to deliver, boy, and you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, then or you'll we'll answer you. to Roose Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this... this is not over! It's over when my son says it is. I've heard enough, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That lad may be lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a forester man killed one of his own, that the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. Do as you like, Lord Whitehill. Yeah, we need to kill him sooner or later. I don't like him. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the King may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay, if it's presented to her as it should be. Alright, looks like that's pretty much it for this video. We'll continue on in the next video to see.